Okay guys, it's April uh, 2012. It's the 19th of day and Amazon have just launched their AWS Marketplace. Now what this is, this is like a marketplace for software that other vendors can provide and make available on the Amazon Web Services platform. So if you don't know what AWS Amazon is, it's things like Amazon Simple Storage Service, their EC2, Route 53. It's really all of Amazon's sort of business and web side of their uh, the web servers that they sort of run as the business side of the Amazon um, or, the, or the Amazon enterprise, we say. So it's all the, all the business platforms and all the servers that they can run, and you can buy things at low cost, and everything is pay per use. So you don't go and you don't have, you don't, for example, if you set up Amazon self storage, that means you can store files on Amazon priced at around 16 cents a gigabyte. Um, and it's based on how much space you use. You don't get charged the same amount every month. It's based on your usage. And this is the same across most of these platforms that they've introduced. Um, today, they've rolled out um, the Marketplace. If I click on this on the right here, this goes into the AWS Marketplace. And one of the things that I noticed straight away in the email is that they've um, just hooked up WordPress. So if you're a WordPress user, you can now, with one click install, pretty much get WordPress up and running on an Amazon server. Now don't get too, um, don't think about this too much. Really, the whole point of Amazon servers is they're providing a solution for hosting um, software and, and servers at a very low cost. Um, the reason being that it's um, pay as you go, so you only pay for what you used. So for example, if you had a website and you had one person or two, two people visit it every day, and it wouldn't use up much bandwidth and it wouldn't use up much resources on the server. But then say the next day, let's say you had a thousand people land on that same website, it would begin to use up the resources and this would then increase your price for that day being used on Amazon. Now if that traffic then dropped back down again, okay, your price would come down within accordance to the volume that's being used. So the good thing about Amazon's services is that, is that they're pay per use. You only pay for what you use. and being on the cloud network, it means that your website is delivered um, via the cloud. So it means it's location-based delivery. Basically, the, the you, when you visit the website that's on the cloud, it will be loaded from the nearest server that Amazon has to your house or wherever you're viewing the internet. So, for example, I'm in the UK, so it will pull from the nearest data center in the UK if I was to view my website on Amazon cloud. But this is a great, this is a huge step actually for Amazon because it's, it's probably you know, inevitable that we're going to roll something like this out. Um, I'll just show you, I'm going to sign into my, I'm signing into my AWS and my Amazon account. Um, let me just bring up. I'm just going to log in here. So this takes me into the AWS uh, marketplace and you'll see again if I just bring up a search for WordPress. There's two different types of WordPress. When you when you get this installed, it's been installed on a 32-bit platform or a 64-bit platform. Um, I'll do some more videos to explain a bit more about this. I'm, just, I'm not going to install it either in this video. Um, that's going to take another video to show you and walk you through every step. But I'll just show you if we click on this is the 64, it says here 64 bit. If I click on here, I can read a bit about it. It tells me how it works. It runs on Amazon EC2 and Amazon EBS. On the right here, it's got my pricing. I can click on Europe. Or, yeah, we're in Europe there, Ireland. So it gives me all the prices. So it's really, this is what I'll be paying um, for usage on my, or my server actually be running. And then it's based on the, the price or how much usage I then use on that uh, on the server what I would say is don't just go and install this and play around with it um, uh, learn learn a bit about it first do your research I didn't enable I enabled an EC2 network recently and then a month later I got a $40 bill through from Amazon I hadn't even gone in and checked it to see why I was being charged and I, I just thought I was actually using a demo version so if you do enable this, you want to check it every day and see your charges and see how you're being charged for your usage. Obviously, then compare it to your um, your own hosting platform if you use one. But this is WordPress here, and just click continue, and it's pretty much a one-click launch. Um, 
you can still do this manually view f through the AWS console. They have a console that's a bit more technical and you can s install and get this EC2 server working. But this one click feature pretty much does all the hard work for you and you can have you know your your network your server up and running. This is the they've given you a monthly estimate here look. Um this is obviously based on 24 this is based over 30 days. Um this is if the your surf was running but if you're going to use it just to be running WordPress then play around with it like I say don't just go and install it because it you know you can do one click install right now. Um have a look at it if you do install it check your pricing every day and see if it compares to your current hosting plan. Um but it's pretty it's pretty big. They've got heaps of stuff coming out. Um obviously all the all developers will be putting the software and stuff onto here. They've got shopping carts, oh um yeah, e commerce solutions for different shopping carts, um things like uh sort of support ticket systems, there's heaps of stuff. Loads of these companies are bringing out platforms that can all run off the Amazon network. Um obviously if you're a huge company this is this is a big benefit to you, it'll bring down your costs um considerably. If you're just running one website then maybe it's not going to be very cost effective for you but if you're if you're a big company a big corporation this will really bring down your costs of your servers um but that's just a quick intro this so this is AWS marketplace go and have a look at it and play around with it if you're not familiar at all with Amazon's AWS um services just go to aws.amazon.com and from here you can see a full list of the services that they provide um things like what might be useful some of you is their backup solutions so they have what's called simple storage and it's here Amazon S3 and you can just uh, read through all the different services they provide so basically it's just a storage solution it's an online storage solution and it's very cheap you know you're talking like cents per gigabyte so um, it's definitely worth looking have a good look at AWS and read about it and just understand it but really this video is about the, the marketplace so if you're familiar with WordPress and stuff you might want to look at the marketplace and get your websites going. I'll do some other videos um, about setting up WordPress on the AWS network um, so that'll be a bit more technical for you technical guys but that's just a quick overview of it okay